Hey guys, so welcome back. So this video, I'm supposed to been through this video so you guys get to know me, like my little background. So you guys know everything about me before we I start making like more videos. They coming soon. And also my intro is getting work on. So it should be like on my next two videos or whatever. But okay, so today we're going to talk about when I first came to, to, the, to the United States. Because everybody know I'm not from here. So let's start off. I'm going to like do little parts and stuff because it's, it's actually... A long story so i'm just gonna make it short like certain parts of it that i feel like it's important for you guys to know about me so when i first came here i was eight um i was living with my grandma but my mom was here in the united states with my brother so one day i just know life came from school so when i came from school and you got imagine you, my mom used to live out here when i came from school my mom was there like as in a surprise and whatever so my grandma was telling me like yeah you going for her you going to to her you going with her for the summer so i'm like okay cool like okay and i'm going to america for the summer like it's lit like i was happy and stuff like that so next thing i know like we was just on the plane that was my first time ever getting to a plane to get here everybody know that when you fly to a different country like it took hours and forever i think it took us two days to get here so when i finally got here like Remind y'all, my mama used to live over east, like, um, like, at South Shore, like, where Rainbow Beach at. That's why I used to live over on South Shore. But back then, I came here, like, I think I was, like, 2006 and 2015. So, like, no, 2005. I'm sorry, guys. It was 2005 or 2006. But I really think it was 2006. So, when I came here, so, like, over east is different now. It's more, like, quiet, like, you know, more wider area, should I say than it used to be when I first came. When I came, I'm like, I had a whole procession of America. I thought it was like mansions and foreign cars. Like, I, it was not that, y'all. I'm like, this America, like, it was dirty. It was kids running everywhere over East. You Y'all know over East is ghetto, y'all. Real ghetto. So that threw me off. Like, okay, this is not what I, what, how the movies be. Just like how when y'all, like, look at commercials and y'all think that African, everybody stars and everybody skinny, everybody dark skinny. It's not like that. It's just stuff, that procession that we, we think. Anyway, so I'm going to skip to um, me being, like, when I first came here, like, I had a really hard time adjusting, like, to the food. Oh, my God, I hated you guys' food. Like, like it was just bad for me. Like, I was breaking out real bad because I guess the water or whatever the case may be y'all but i was just breaking out real bad like it it was bad for me you guys it was really bad for me i was getting sick i was going to the hospital back and forth and i finally i guess I'm, i finally started getting adjusted to it when i came here it was like between it was like fall like summer was over like basically summer was over so okay so i had to check into school so i'm starting thinking like like, why is I'm checking into school if my mama said that I was only coming here for the summer? So, I just, I didn't think nothing of it. I'm like, okay, whatever. So, I started starting school and whatever. I hated school so bad, y'all. Kids are so mean. Like, I won't say I was getting bullied. I was never getting bullied because I'm always a fighter and I have a mouth. So, like, I wasn't, I won't say I've been bullied, but I just think that people, you just look at me different because I was different. Because we mad y'all, I got real sick, so I was really skinny. And I was just like, probably, they probably just thought like, well, she's so skinny. I don't know, but it wasn't, I, I didn't get bullied. I'm not going to say I got bullied. I just felt like I, I didn't fit in. So, okay, far into uh, starting off. So, I, one day, like, I had just asked my brother, like, like, why is I'm going to school? Because we mad y'all, I hated school because I didn't speak English, so I didn't know what was going on. So, my brother told me, like, yeah, like, you, you staying here. My mom, like, mom laughed to you. I'm like, oh, my God. I was so pissed because, like, I didn't really, like, get a chance to tell people. If I knew, like, I was staying here, like, I feel like I would have been more remorse towards my grandma because she, I love her so big. Like, I didn't give her, like, I don't know. I, I could have told people, like, I won't come back. I feel like I would have been more emotional. Like, I wasn't emotional because I knew I would come back, but I wasn't. Okay, let's skip to that. Let's skip to back to school. I was going to school. I didn't know nothing, y'all. I didn't know hi. I didn't know nothing. I didn't know no English, y'all. So, 
Okay, so I finally started going to school, and then, like, they decided they was going to give me a, a translator. They was going to give me a French translator. She was she was walking everywhere with me. We was going to, she go to the bathroom with me. She go everywhere with me, all my classes and stuff like that. But mind you, I was eight years old, so nobody really knew, like, I think all the kids didn't really know what being an African is. They just look at me as, oh, she different. She can't talk. They probably thought I was slow. Now that I'm thinking about it, they probably thought I was slow. Maybe that's why they wasn't trying to be my friend, because they probably thought I was slow, because they were talking to me but like I didn't I didn't understand it okay let's get to when like um like when I was really really depressed because I missed it. my grandma I imagine I was homesick yeah I was so homesick I missed it. my grandma like I'm, I'm used to being African because they're African like everybody do stuff together like your cousins stay with you your uncles everybody stay with you like it's a family but here it's like I don't have a lot of family here so it was only only family that I had was my mama, my little brother, and my big, my other brother, and my stepdaddy. And I didn't really feel close to my mama with my job because my mama used to live here and I used to live down there. So I wasn't really close to her. So I felt like I didn't have no family. Like I was just stuck with them. Like I was really depressed. So one day, y'all, I hate this story because I felt stupid for doing it. Now I thought about it. So one day I tried to kill myself. I was very depressed, y'all. My brother used to go outside with his friends. I used to stay in the house and I didn't have no friends. And he was a boy. I couldn't go with him. My mom used to do hair. And I didn't like to be around hair. Because, you know, I was just, I was in the house by myself, y'all. So, you know, like, it's a spray, a blue spray. I still remember this spray to the day. When I smell it, I hate the smell. So, the spray that you use to clean the windows and stuff. So, one day, I drank, like, two bottles, y'all. I think I passed out because when my mom came home, she was just waking me up like, you okay? Then I had told her what I did. She was like, why would you do that? You could have talked to me, but y'all don't understand. Then we didn't have a relationship. We didn't have a relationship, so I couldn't really talk to her. Like, cause I'm so used to being my grandma, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was young, you know, when you eight years old. Like, anyway, let's get to that. So, let's get back to school. This one start, stuff started looking up for me and stuff. So, like, I was just, I just promised myself, like, okay, before, before the end of the year, I'm going to learn I'm going to learn me some English. So, I would say what really helped me was YouTube. I was Googling YouTube. I was learning how to say a couple of words. I was on Google, Googling words. I started knowing a couple of stuff. And then I just started, like, you know, trying to make friends. Because my mom used to be like, and since you just try to make a friend or whatever. So, I used to try to talk to the kids. But I feel like they didn't take me serious. Like, like they still didn't know what I would remember you we was eight so people you know kids could be me and at eight they didn't know what I was saying so I was just stand up at this point I'm like I don't really care about getting friends I'm like I don't care so one day I was in lunch and so my very first best friend her name is Ella I still love Ella to this day that was my best friend my very first best friend or whatever so she came up to me in lunchroom like she um she I, I had some shoes on she liked it she was like I like your shoes so I was actually sitting up there having a conversation with her. She said, I can actually understand you. She said, it's not it's not that bad, but I can understand you. I was like, because she was like, um, come sit by me at lunch later. So I started sitting by her lunch. She started to introduce me to all her little friends. And then I actually got close to her. And then we actually found out that we live a block from each other. That's when we really started being friends. So she used to teach me every day how to talk, how to read, how to write with my job. I was from a different country, so I didn't know how to write, read. I just saw all over, like, on some kindergarten and shit level. So, me and her started talking. We started getting cool. She started introducing me to her friends. I was like, I started fitting in. People knew my name. I was, I was like, really start, stuff started really coming. So, one day, she told me, like, you know why everybody did not want to talk to you? Because everybody thought that you were slow. Because... She has showed me, like, you see special ed, you see how, like, people, you know how special ed, they have, like, teachers that go everywhere with them to classrooms and stuff that they thought that you were special ed. They thought that you were slow because you wasn't, they would talk to you, but you wasn't talking back to them. I said, oh, so they think I'm slow because I have a lady that follow me everywhere I go. So, I told Ella, like, I bet you when we come back to school, because it was, it was almost going to be summer, it was almost going to be summer, so I told her, like, when we come back in fourth grade, I'm not gonna walk with her no more. I'm gonna learn everything, how to say everything. So I was like, she was like, okay, okay. She was like, we made it back. Every day at school, y'all, I used to try to write, read, write. And to this day, people think that I spell stuff different, but they don't understand. Like, it took me forever to learn how to read and write. Like, it's uh, it's hard when you 
you have to leave like all the language that you knew everything you have to leave and you young like it's just so hard like imagine y'all going to africa or china and learning that language over and learning how to write like it's hard and it's depressing y'all i'm telling you so i used to do it every day after school she used to help me and she used to like how you spell this how you spell that and i was getting good i started passing tests and stuff like that and when i came back next year I, um like when i came back next year and stuff like that i actually found out that they told my mama that they can afford to have a, a, a translator follow me everywhere either i get in a regular classroom or i start uh they was gonna switch me to a special ed classroom and i told my mama like because my mom no English, but she not that good at English neither herself. So I told her like, I ain't going to no special ed. You, mm -mm. she was like, so what you gonna? I'm like, I don't care. I'm gonna stay in a regular class. They said if you stay in a regular class, you might fail because you 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 speak English, but you not that good. I said I don't care. I ain't going there. I, it's already bad enough. I'm odd. I'm weird. You know, I'm the African. Now I'm going to special ed. Oh yeah, I'm really gonna be messed up. So y'all, telling y'all, I start working harder and harder. I passed a couple of tests and then just let me stay in the regular classroom. So yeah, my whole point of this video is just to say like, stuff get better. Even though when stuff seem like that never gonna get better, like I learned, I literally learned trans on my whole like learning how to speak English, read, all that within like, I wouldn't even say a year, it wasn't a year because when, when I, like when I came back, like I came like the mid, uh, like the, the middle kind of kind of middle of school year and the end I didn't even need my translator no more and I was writing I was reading it wasn't probably on the third grade level I think it probably was more like on first and second grade but I was just proud myself to be able to do that so my whole point is like just have faith stuff could get better and that suicide stuff y'all I hate that stuff because it was just so stupid because now like I'm learning more about stuff and I just like wish I never put my mommy through that because I feel like she was heartbroken like she really was thinking about sending me back as she was really thinking about sending me back because she felt like I was miserable. But it all worked out. So, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And tell me what my next video should be on.